City Council member Brad Lander on exposing inequity and protecting frontline medical workers from retaliation. And your working from home actually includes work, which is legislation. You have a bill that's been introduced that really uh, is cutting to the core of this pandemic that we're facing right now. Why that bill and why now for it? Yeah, thank you. Actually, I've got two pieces of legislation that I think are really relevant to the crisis. I think the first one you're referring to is about this bill that to protect doctors and nurses and healthcare workers uh, who are facing gag orders and being threatened with firing if they speak up publicly uh, about the conditions in their hospitals. So we announced legislation, and it's actually modeled on a bill that I was working on uh, with fast food workers who also face unfair firing. You know, you can't be fired for a discriminatory reason, but most people can be fired for no reason at all with no notice and, uh, and no cause. So I realized we could pass a local law that would say healthcare workers, whether you're a doctor or a nurse or, you know, somebody that's providing healthcare assistance, um, you can only be fired for a good reason. You can't be fired without any notice and with no reason at all. And a good reason is not raising up your voice about health and safety conditions in your hospital. You cannot be fired for that as long as you're telling the truth. So yeah, so that legislation is being developed. I hope to get it introduced. I hope we're able to have it heard in a Zoom hearing uh, and passed soon because boy, you know, every night at seven we go out and we cheer and clap and bang the cowbells to say how grateful we are to these healthcare workers protecting their jobs while they are speaking out publicly about what's necessary to protect their health and safety. Seems like a real no-brainer. And you think in this environment where at seven o'clock like clockwork, people are out there cheering and supporting and banging the pots together, do you really think one of these hospital systems would have the audacity to fire a healthcare worker in the face of all of that we're facing and the public support? You know, we, there were some reports of it actually having happened, uh, not in New York. There was a report, I think, of a doctor in Boston and one on the West Coast who actually did get fired for this. So um, here so far, we saw very stern gag orders coming from the institutions. Whether they would follow through and fire people, I don't know. But obviously, those workers are feeling very anxious now. They believe their jobs are on the line because they've been told that they are and that they have to choose between crying out to protect their health and safety and that of their colleagues and continuing to have their jobs. So if we get this legislation passed, it's not only that they would not be able to be fired, but you know, that kind of gag order would be against the would be against the law, would run contrary to that law. Knowing what we do about the current landscape and even seeing the headlines of workers from Amazon facilities in New York who are taking their demands to the street and saying, hey, it's unsafe for us here, we have concerns. And one of the leaders of a walkout being subsequently fired, is there any thought to maybe expanding the reach of this legislation? Definitely, as I said, we started with fast food workers uh, and I'd like eventually to cover everyone. You know, This is a pretty simple law that says, you can only be fired with a, with a good reason. Uh, and there's plenty of reasons, obviously, there's things people can do that merit, that merit termination. And, but there's a set of policies as opposed to just you can be fired without any reason at all or in retaliation for organizing or raising health and safety causes. So, yeah, I'd like to see that uh, expanded more fully. One other thing I hope to be able to do for some of those Amazon Flex and Uber and Instacart workers, um, there's a lot of people out there right now that don't have any paid sick leave. Um, and that's another, that's the second bill that I, uh, that I mentioned before. Unfortunately, the federal legislation and the state legislation to expand sick leave do not cover gig workers. New York City already has a great paid sick leave law if you're a traditional, you know, employee who gets a W-2, but it doesn't yet cover those platform and gig workers, and I think we can. So um, I think, you know, you're seeing workers all over the country right now speaking up and especially, you know, I think at least people would have said before, I know doctors and nurses are very important workers, they're essential workers. But I don't know that people would have said, uh, my restaurant delivery guy, or that Amazon, you know, warehouse employee, or my bodega and grocery store worker, or my laundromat worker, we might not have said those are essential workers. But now we know they are, 
except that they still don't get paid well enough. They don't get enough benefits. They a lot of times don't get that um, sick leave. We need to do better. And a lot of them are organizing all over the country, rising up, doing walk-offs like Amazon did, you know, going out on strike. Through organizing, through worker action, and through legislation, we, we need to use this time to protect workers right now and also build that future where, you know, if we know they're essential, then, then let's pay them and treat them with the dignity that essential work and really all work deserves.